Okay, so this is the next video, which is going to now cover uh, an additional function besides the play function. You can probably guess because it's right here, the sleep function, okay? So maybe you already tried playing around with that and see what it did. But, so I have my play here, which is play 60, and I press that, it runs. Remember, play is an argument, or a function, and 60 is the argument. We give that function so it knows what to do. Now, maybe some of you wanted to try and play two notes, or one note after another. So you wrote play 60, and then maybe you wrote play 67, okay? Expecting to hear this note, and then this note. But listen to what happens when we do one play function followed by another play function. We get the same note or two notes played at the same time, okay? Now, one thing about computers. So computers are very good at computing. They run things very, very, very fast. So the computer really ran these things one and then the next. It did this line, line three, and then line four. But it did it so fast that to our ears, it sounded like it was the same. And for the sake of using Sonic Pi, we're just gonna assume it was at the same time. Right, so let's say I want this note to play and then a little time to go by and then this note to play. So what I need to do is in between these two plays, I need to write a new function and that function is called sleep. Okay, so sleep is the second function that I am going to show you. Now sleep also takes an argument, so I'm just gonna do sleep one. Okay, so now if I run it, I get 60, then it sleeps for this one, which I'm not gonna talk about what exactly that one means yet. You can kind of play around and, and see what, what you can make it do, but we'll cover that in a, a next video. So play 60, then it sleeps for one, and then it plays 67, okay? I could then go in, add another sleep, and then maybe play 64. Okay, so with just these two commands, play and sleep, I can write lots of stuff, okay? There's so much I could now do. I could write a whole bunch of code, I can write songs. Remember, I could still have two plays together or five plays together, playing a bunch of notes at once so you could do chords together. So just some things about sleep. Let's look at this. If I change this sleep to two, It takes longer to get to this note than when I have sleep one, okay? Uh, if I change this sleep to like a decimal number, like 0.5, I get an error message. Now I did this on purpose. I knew this was gonna happen, but I wanted to show you this, okay? So here's one of the first error messages I'm running into, which is no digit floating literal anymore, put zero before the dot. This part doesn't make a whole lot of sense, but this is a very helpful error message, put zero before dot. So here I have a dot, I'm going to put a zero in front of it. So this is one of the syntax things we're gonna run into in that Sonic Pi, if you're gonna use decimal point numbers that are less than one, it wants to have a zero in front of it. That's just the way Sonic Pi likes things to do. So if you're leaving those out, it's gonna give you that error message, but it's here, it's helping you, it's telling you exactly what it wants you to do. So I'm gonna do that to make it happy. So now I run it. Okay, so the 0 0.5 made the next note happen sooner, right? So it seems like larger numbers puts more space between each note, lower numbers put less space. Let's just try negative one just to see what happens. It doesn't like it, it gives us this error message here. So negative numbers also not gonna work so well, okay? So what I want you to do for this week is just play around with plays and sleeps. Again, remember I could go in and add maybe a musical note. I'll do E4 here, so it still works. You can combine notes. You can work, see what happens with different sleeps. So I just wanna see you make something using play and sleep. Okay, if you want to get experimental, you want to check out the help window, see what else you can figure out and try and incorporate, you can, but just know you may run into some syntax errors, get some error messages and not know what to do. So if that's the case, I would recommend just leaving it out. So once you have done that, I want you to submit your project into the document in Google Classroom. So just to show you how to do that, 
This is what the document will look like. You're gonna put your name, the date. Questions here, I've left as an option. If you're playing around, you're like, man, I really wanna do this, or I have this idea, but I don't know how to do it. Like, how would I do this? Or how could I change this? I want you to be thinking about that. Always think about what you want to do. Don't just think about, well, this is what I know how to do, so I'm only gonna do this. If you can think about it, there's probably a way you can do it. You just don't know how to do it yet. So ask those kinds of questions. Those are always gonna be helpful. Okay, so that's optional. If you don't have any questions, don't worry about it. But what you're gonna do is you're gonna be copying and pasting your code from Sonic Pi into this document. So how you can do that, you have your code. I'm just gonna click and drag over all my code like that. I'm then gonna hit Command-C, okay? Or if you're using uh, Windows, that would be Control C. Okay, so you can copy that. Way. You can also usually like right click, and it will bring up that. You can copy here, right? Then I'm going to go into my Google document, and I'm going to hit Control if it Control V or Command V, depending on whether or not I am using a Windows or a Mac and then my code just pops in there. Now I'm gonna warn you, don't right click in Google Documents. Use Control C and Control V for copy and paste. Control C will copy and Control V will paste. If you try and right click, I've seen that run into problems using extensions and Chrome and stuff like that. So don't do that. Make sure, and maybe I'll even add it to this document, use Control or Command V to paste into the document. Once you've done that, you can submit it. I just wanna see what you made with your plays and sleeps. Okay, so again, just copy it from the window and then paste it into the document and then submit it. And that will be all we'll do with Sonic Pi this week. And then hopefully you'll have a bunch of questions. I'll answer those in the next video as well and show you some new and more interesting things you can do to uh, add to these plays and sleeps. So have fun, enjoy this music making in Sonic Pi, and I can't wait to see what you make.